Well, we have a speech that ended this past weekend with an ominous warning coming from Air Force General Terrence O'Shaughnessy. This was a speech he gave at the 140th National Guard Association Conference in New Orleans. He basically stated that the U.S. homeland is no longer a sanctuary. This is a four-star general making these statements. This was published on the Military Times. He says that we are in a changing environment. We used to think about the sanctuary that we had with oceans and friendly countries to our north and south. I think that this is key that people pay attention to what he's saying here. He says friendly countries to our north and south. He says, but that's changing with adversaries that are actually able to reach out and touch us now. So what does all of that mean? Touch us how? From where? He was vague in detail, but he put this warning out there, the writing on the wall, so to speak. He says, it breaks down simply, the U.S. is no longer immune to attacks from Russia or China. This, to me, opens up the doors that we talked about before of Mexico potentially allowing Chinese Russian troops to come into their country, whether it's for training or whatever it is. They could go right from Cuba or right on into Mexico and be right there on our doorstep. Now, in terms of the North, yeah, there's been some bickering between the Trump administration and Canada and all this stuff here recently, but they are an ally of us. I have nothing but love for our Canadian brothers and sisters, the same as our Mexican brothers and sisters. But they will turn us against one another if they can. That is to their advantage, and we need not let that happen. Now, in terms of the North, what I really see happening here isn't Canada. It is the Arctic. I'm going to be dropping another video in terms of the Arctic coming up, and it's very important people realize what's happening there because Russia is making huge moves and conducting one of the biggest drills they've ever had in their history right now. And this has everything to do with the Arctic. This is why the United States just activated its second fleet. Let me rephrase that. They reactivated the second fleet. This was a fleet that was deactivated completely. Now they've brought it back because of what they're calling bad actors in the northern Atlantic and in the Arctic. And who do you think that is? Who's up there right now? With a huge drill, Russia and China. So, that's where it sits. I wanted to let it be known, this is what this guy said in terms of the United States. And there's more details here to his speech. I'll leave a link below. And I'll continue to update as I come across more. This has been Dabu7. Peace.